Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to this year's Halloween special, where we're going to pop back to the kitchen and play some Cooking Simulator, because there is now a free Halloween Monster Menu DLC, which adds new Halloween decor, new creepy dishes for us to cook, and also there is a Witch's Cauldron that does all sorts of weird and wonderful things, and I like the sound of that, so I thought it would be absolutely perfect for our spooky Halloween special, and also I do really like Cooking Simulator. I mean, I am pretty rubbish at cooking simulator, that much is true. I have probably created some terrifying dishes over the years without the need for the Halloween DLC at all, but all the same, I do enjoy playing it. It is a lot of fun. So here we go, let's go to the kitchen and get cooking. Okay, so here we go, we're in sandbox mode and we're in the lovely classic kitchen, although you might well have noticed that it doesn't look too Halloween-y right now, and that's because we haven't switched on the Halloween theme. So to do that, we have to go over to the laptop and then down here under decorations, we go to the event tab, and then there's a few Halloween ones, but the one we want is just the regular Halloween, not the 2021, just regular Halloween. We can then install that, and I think to install that you have to play on either the classic kitchen or the modern kitchen. It doesn't apply to the other kitchens, and I think with that done, it's now all Halloween-y. Look, there's little candles floating around, and there's a bat on the wall, and there's some more bats on the wall, and there's some posters, all that kind of stuff. I like that. It looks very good. So I think now what we could do is, to make it properly Halloween-y, I think we turn off the lights because we've got spooky floating candles providing enough light for us. So look at that. We're now entirely candle lit with the spooky floating candles. Oh, there's like a row of bats over there as well. I didn't notice that. That's quite nice. And then outside, there's some Halloween theming going on there. There's a trick or treat cauldron and some witchy type characters going on with some very good hats. Wonderful pointy hattage. Very good. And then pumpkins, all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Looks very good. I like that. And there is our wonderful witch's cauldron. Look at that trick or treat. And if I can try and put this down, hang on, hang on, try and put that down so it doesn't fall over. Look at that. It's got all sorts of mysterious swirly stuff going on. And you can put stuff into this. Did I just knock that? No. Um, you can put stuff in. So, I don't know. Let's grab a lemon. Let's get a lemon, because nothing says Halloween like a lemon, and we'll pop that into there. So you put that in, and it goes, oh, thank you. And that's just, uh, what did that just spit out? That spat out a, what is that? What's that? A large skewer. There you go. So the cauldron turned a lemon into a large skewer. What else can we turn into other things? I mean, this is kind of not the point of the DLC. There is a kind of a thing to do with this, but I like the fact it does turn stuff into other things. What about if we put in a lovely regular piece of bread? Let's just pop a bit of bread into the witch's cauldron. There we go. And what's that going to become? That's become... What is that? What is that? The bread has become a blender. <laughs> you know, like it should do. Okay, so the food is turning into non-food items. What if we get a non-food item? What if we get one of the timers? Because there's a few of those dotted around the place and I can't work out how to use them anyway. So what if we put one of those into the cauldron, pop that in, does that become food? Oh, crack it. Whoa, hang on a minute. Blimey, is that turned into a, I don't know what that says, a ma math scrug? What's that? Oh, Oh, I quite like that. That's become a, a big old kind of tankard type thing. Oh, that's very exciting. Hang on, what else can we put in there? What else can we find? Hang on, what about a plate? Let's grab a plate. Let's put a plate into there and see what happens. This is exciting. Um, we'll actually do some proper stuff with this in a bit, but this is quite fun, isn't it? That's become a pan of some description, like a little pan, a small pot. Okay, well, there you go. So that is the kind of the witch's cauldron. It takes some stuff and then it turns it into other stuff. And then around the walls, we have all these posters. So there's a few posters dotted around the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow these posters because they take us on a little bit of a journey to kind of make other things. And then we shall do some recipes because there are some exciting recipes as well for us to make some spooky Halloween things. But uh, yeah, this is poster number one. So we have to get ourselves a pumpkin as it says down here, put it into the cauldron and it will turn it into a proper scary pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern type thing. So there is a pumpkin. So let's get that, pop that into there. There we go. And any moment now, there we go. So our little uh, thing, jack-o'-lantern has popped out. Um, oh, we can't see the face of it. Hang on. Oh no, have I got to rotate this round? Hang on a minute. Here we go. Right. So trying to use the advanced controls. Um, it's going well so far. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's not so bad. There we go. Look, so our pumpkin has been carved into a scary jack-o'-lantern thing. So there we go. Right. So let's put that down. Let's put that down on there, say. Uh, oh, 
We've turned it round again. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, right, so never mind. Uh, so that's that poster done. We've done that. We've completed that one little goal over there. And then over here, look, if we follow the posters round, it's now saying that we need to mix our jack-o'-lantern with a little candle. And there are these candles floating about. We can't grab one of them because, you know, magic and such. So we have to go and buy one of these, I believe, because it's got a little star and the star is linked to a shopping trolley. Now, if I remember correctly, don't we go to boxes? Is that what we do? Open the carton. Yeah, there we go. Um, right. So where would candles be? Miscellaneous, I imagine. So, um, okay. So dark beer, light beer, Halloween candle. There we go. So can we please buy a Halloween candle? Just the one, thank you very much. Do we need to light that? I imagine we might need to light the candle. Um, have we got like a, like a sort of, uh, have we got matches? Or a blowtorch or something? I think a blowtorch is a thing in the game, but I don't know if we have one. I mean, we are in sandbox mode, so maybe we could just go and buy one. Um, firecracker. A blowtorch. There you go. I'll have a blowtorch, please. Right, so do we need to... How do we turn it on? E. There we go. I'm sure this will be absolutely fine. So do we need to light the candle with with that? Because otherwise it's going to be... It's not going to be a very exciting sort of uh, lantern, is it? If it's not lit from the inside. So um, I don't know. how do we How do we go about doing this? Advanced, oh, we have got your advanced controls again. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> this is going to be fine. This is going to be completely fine. Okay, how do we lower this down? Move vertically. Okay, so that's pretty much on the desk, I think, on the on the surface. That's It's not going well. It's not going well. Hang on a minute. There, like that, like that. That should, I think that should have possibly lit by now. That should possibly have lit that candle. Um, okay. Um... Okay, so put that down. No, not that. No, pick it up. Oh, no, they've set the kitchen on fire. <laughs> I meant to put it down. Um, okay, hang on. How do e, turn it off. Right, okay, hang on a minute. I might have possibly set fire to a bit of the kitchen. How do we put out a fire? There's a bucket. Uh, a bucket? Hang on a minute. Hang on. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> how do we... No, I want to operate the... How do we use it with the tap? How do we use it with the tap? No, that's not... Okay, there's quite a big fire now. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Get rid of that. Protect the cauldron. Protect the cauldron. Come this way. Which is cauldron? <laughs> this was not supposed to be a thing. How do we put out a fire? Does anybody know? Because now the sink... Yeah. The sink is... That's where I was going to get water from. Because, you know, sink, water and everything. But, um, yeah, that, that appears to be a bit on fire. Um, okay, what if we... Uh, can, can we can we buy anything? Can we, ooh! Ah! Sprinklers! Sprinkler system! <laughs> <laughs> the sprinkler system has saved the day. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, that just adds to the Halloween theme look. It just adds to the uh, slightly creepy Halloween theme with the scorched floor. Um, I think everything else is fine. I think everything else is okay. Our, our pumpkin's fine. <laughs> right. Note to self next time. Um, turn off thing with fire on it before putting it down or dropping it onto the floor like an idiot. Okay. There we go. Fire all sorted. Fire all sorted. Although we yeah, we didn't really do a very good job of trying to put it out ourselves. We put a bucket into there and then just sort of look confused. Okay. Right. Hang on then. So back to where we were, where we're over here. So we're going to put a candle into there. So that is going to be our next exciting thing. So we get that and we go, ah, E is insert. Okay. So pop that into there like so. And now is it lit? Uh, hang on a minute. Move it away a bit. Oh, crikey. It's, it, I mean, it's not lit. It's not lit, but I couldn't figure out how to light the thing. I'm not quite sure how you light it. And also it keeps turning it round. Stop turning it round. Um, okay, okay. So I don't quite know how to light that thing. Oh, look, there's there's um, sort of spooky faces on the tree in the middle. That's quite fun. Uh, but there you go. So we've done what it said. I mean, it doesn't say, oh, it does say to light the candle. How do we light? Are there matches? Is there a book of matches in here or something? Are we supposed to buy matches? Um, products. Now that's food. It's not any of these things. It wouldn't be a utensil, I don't think. Um, oh, there's that mug thing we got. That's quite fun. Um, no, there's no matches. Maybe, maybe we're supposed to put it. Are we supposed to use the like the the gas hob thing and put it into there? Uh, it's a, oh, hang, that's a bit scorched, isn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So what if we do that? Look, we'll turn that on to yeah. There we go. So switch that on. So that's now got a flame on it, and that can't set fire to the floor. So that's quite good. And then if we just get ourselves another candle. 
So hang on a minute. Halloween candle. Yeah, we'll have one of them, please. So can we then... Oh, hang on. E is... L oh, it just says E on it to light it. Okay. <laughs> hang on a second. Hang on a minute. Possibly should pay attention to these things. Right. Here we go. Pop another pumpkin into there. Give us another jack-o'-lantern. There we go. Thank you very much. Come over here. Pick up the candle that's lit. Pop it inside here. Insert that into there. And there we go. That looks much better. Although it still keeps turning it round. So I'm not quite sure how we can look at the face of it. We'll put that there, look. And then we'll go over here. Yes. I like that. That looks good. Okay, so we've completed a couple of the posters. I think maybe we made a slightly more difficult job of it than it possibly needs to be. But never mind. There we go. Right, so over here, look. We're now going to make what I assume is Eye of Newt. So into the cauldron, we now need to put a potato and a tomato. Okay, well, hang on. Let's bring the cauldron round here. So I assume, I assume we can't pick things up like you can with some other, or can you? Hang on, hang on. So I think, yeah, if we say tomato, do we put it straight into the cauldron? I'm not entirely sure that went into the cauldron. Hang on, drop that down. I don't think that went in. So what do we need? A potato? Uh, that's a lemon. Potato and a tomato. Potato, right. So potato in and tomato in. Okay. Uh, hang on. That threw something back out. That threw out a book. Okay. <laughs> I don't want the book. Thank you, though. That's lovely. Uh, right. Do we have to do this quite quickly? I suspect maybe we have to do this quite quickly. Okay. So... Um, potato and tomato. Quick, chuck it in. Right, potato and tomato goes in. And out comes a frying pan. Not what I was expecting to happen at all. Although it, it's a lovely frying pan. It's very, very shiny. Very nice. Um, okay, let's put that down there, look. Um, right, maybe we need to put them on something. Maybe we need to get like a cutting board and get us as a tomato on the cutting board and get a potato on the cutting board and then we need to do the advanced control thing and we need to tip them in so they go in at the set there we go so that should become yes there that's done what it's supposed to do hang on let's pop that like that back onto there that has become if i can get down and find it that's become an eye of newt so now we have an eye of newt our first proper halloweeny ingredient and i think we have to do the advanced control thing again. We can turn it round. Look, it's got a little eye on it. There we go. Well, I should possibly turn that gas thing off, shouldn't I? Because we've been there before. We've seen how fire works now. So there we go. Right, let's turn that off. But right, so we have ourselves our first thing. We have an eye of newt, which is all very exciting. So that poster there, tick that off. That's complete. So with the eye of newt done, we now need to go over to that poster there, which is telling us how to make a witch's broom, which is all very exciting indeed. There we go, like a magic flying broomstick. The only thing is, we need an Eye of Newt, which we now know how to make. We need a Bat's Wing, and we need, I imagine that's a Tail of Newt or something. I'm not entirely sure. Or a Rat's Tail or something. I don't know. I'm not a qualified witch. So I think, do we have to go to other posters to try and work out how to make that? Yeah, there we go. Right, so to make the Bat's Wing, we need an Eye of Newt and a whatever that tail thing is. So is there one over here telling us how to make the tail thing? Right, yes. Okay, so to make the tail thing in a jig, we need an eye of newt and an egg. Okay, seemingly random things, but right, you are. I mean, we do have the eye of newt. If I can figure out where I put it, there it is. There's the eye of newt. So we've got one of those. So put that there. So get our cutting board. Right, hang on. I'll grab the cutting board. Then we'll get the eye of newt, pop it onto there. In no way is that going to fall off. And then we need an egg. Okay, hang on. Where is an egg? Oh, hang on. The eggs might be in the fridge. Here we go. So where is an egg? Egg, egg, egg. Um, you think they'd be fairly obvious to spot, wouldn't you? You go, what with their distinctive shape and everything. Um, are they at the bottom, possibly? Are they in these drawers that you pull out? Now that's like cheese and stuff. There we go. There's an egg. We shall have an egg. Thank you. Right, and then we'll go and do this again. So we'll try and tip those into there as so they go in at the same time. That's the floor. <laughs> the egg might have possibly broken a bit. Uh, oh, that's an egg shape. Where's the eye of newt gone? Okay, there it is. Right, pop the eye of newt onto the... Okay, now the thing isn't level. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is all fine. It's all fine. It's part of professional kitchen management. Right, there we go. <laughs> Where's the eye of newt gone? I haven't stood in it. Right, okay. Eye of newt... Where's it gone? Where is... 
Oh, it's very precariously balanced on there. And it's spinning round in a slightly sinister way. There we go. I'm watching you. Hello, I have newt. Right, so grab that. Grab the egg, which is now on the other end. Okay, the egg is also spinning around. Let's get really close to this. Right, so advanced controls. And now we tip them both in. There we go. Right, so they're both in. And that should make a... Whee! There we go. Where's it go? Oh, hang on. It might have made two things, possibly. Um, that made... Uh, hang on. What? It made a lizard tail. Okay, that's one of the things we need. So we need a lizard tail. And then it also made a knife. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's, uh, yeah, it is a kitchen. That's quite useful. Do you know what? We shall pop it into our knife block. Very good. So now we have a lizard tail. Okay, so we know that an eye of Newton egg makes a lizard tail. And then to make the wing, we need an eye of Newt and a lizard tail to make a bat wing. Okay, so we need to get a little kind of production line of these things going on. I think we need to get more of these first. So, uh, yeah, a, what is it? A tomato and a potato. Okay, right, so go to there, look. So grab, grab a tomato, grab a potato. That fell on the floor. Can we have the potato? That's a lemon. <laughs> That's not a potato. You can stay on the floor, lemon. Um... Oh, yeah, they, no, they are lemons. Hang on. Oh, the potatoes are over there. Right, hang on. That's a bit better. There we go. Right, so put that over there. Tip them in. I suspect maybe they've got... Okay. Yeah, they've, that, that's not worked either. I'm not very good at using the controls. Right, hang on a second. It's all going to be fine. Right, so grab the potato. I think the, the tomato is perched right on the edge, which is good. Okay, stand pretty much... Why has that not gone onto the thing? <laughs> go onto the thing. There we go. Brilliant. Do you remember at the start of this video? I was saying, oh, I'm not very good at cooking simulator. Yeah. Now, now, now I've got proof of that. Right. So go to there, look. So it's right above the cauldron. This should not miss. There we go. Right. So both of those go in. So we then need to get a few of those out. And very handily, it's popped onto a shelf. I quite like that. That's quite good. Right. We'll lever that back out by putting it down. Then we'll grab another potato like that and a tomato this is all fine and then we'll do the same sort of thing again so tip them in we need to get i don't know maybe three or four of these possibly so another eye pops out very good put that down pick it up so i think we get four of these in fact i think possibly some of the recipes that we're going to make a bit later on when we've done all the silly stuff with the cauldron i think they do require some as well so let me just do this a few times let me just do this maybe yeah, get a stock of i don't know six or seven of these possibly so let me just put them somewhere where i'm not going to forget so okay eyes of newt can go over there so let's just what have we got three now so we'll get another i don't know let's get another three of those i think six should be okay okay there we go seven eyes of newt that's not too bad i did hope to have eight but i think i must have misplaced either the potato or the tomato because the cauldron decided to spit out a stool so there we go seven eyes of newt and one lovely stool over there very good so we've got seven of those now which means that we can now make a bat's wing because we have ourselves one of the tail thingamajigs but i also think we need to get another tail don't we we need another one of those as well. So hang on. So yeah, we need another lizard tail because we need to turn that into a bat wing. And then we need another lizard tail to actually put into the cauldron with the wing and one of the eyes to get our wonderful broomstick. Okay, so we need to get another one of these done first. What was the what was the thing for that again? I've completely forgotten. That's the wing. Hang on, the tail was... It was an egg, of course it was. Right, hang on a second. So let's grab another chopping board. So another cutting board thing. We'll grab an eye of newt. Very good. Then we'll grab an egg, like so. So that's two of those. Go over to here and very carefully, and in no way, in a very daft haphazard way, do that. Right, so there we go. So boop, out comes another tail. We'll pick the... Hang on. Is the board... Are we just gonna, is it going to slide off the board? We're not levelling the board up. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Be like that game. Um, oh, where's... Where's the tail gone? Oh no, where, where's it gone? There it is, there it is. I see it, I see it on the charred floor. Right, so now we have a tail. So now we can mix a tail and an eye. So let's put those onto here. So pop that onto there. So the tail can go onto there. Then get an eye of newt. Pop that onto there. This is going to be wonderful. Pick that up. Carefully take it over to the cauldron. And then tip those in and hope, I think, oh, I think we missed. <laughs> okay, 
Right, so we missed with the tail, and the Eye of Newt has produced a um, a, like a like you know a propane canister. That's fine. Let's carefully put that down, shall we? I wasn't as careful as I was thinking, but okay. Um, hang on a minute. Where did the where did the tail go? Where we it missed because I saw it tumble off the side, but now I don't quite know where it is. (laughs) It's around here somewhere. Where it can't have gone too far. Um. Right, hang on. We might have to just go and do another one. We might have to go and do another one because I can't see where it is. It's it's lost down here somewhere. Um, no. Do you know what? No, I don't know where it is. Hang on. Let's just go and very quickly make another one of the lizard tail things. Okay, there we go. We've got another lizard tail. So let's put that onto the board. Let's go and grab another one of our eyes of newt. It's a good job we made quite a few of those. Right, so there we go. The two ingredients are there. So this should, if we can manage to actually get it into the... Uh, the cauldron this time. This should make... Hang on. So that looks about right to me. So this should make the bat wing. I suspect maybe we've got that slightly too low. But there we go. So that's not... There we go. We now have a bat's wing that's flopped onto the floor. Right. So wing of bat, eye of newt, tail of lizard. Mix those together and we get a broom, which is very exciting. I assume we can fly around and cackle and all that kind of stuff. Right. So grab that. Grab that and grab our one and only lizard tail (laughs) so we've got one lizard tail and one bat wing let's hope this doesn't go wrong we have to be very careful with this look at that Mm, delicious there we go (laughs) come to our restaurant we'll serve you this right so okay hang on a second so we're right up to the thing advanced controls rotate it round tip it all in at once that should be fine perfect okay and that's going to give us there it is there it is we've got a broom We've got a broom. That's very exciting. Right, there we go. A witch's broom. And, oh, it's it's just floating. Oh, hang on. Is it following us around? Or am I just holding it? Oh, no. I think I'm holding it now. Um, throw, oh, hang on. E is hocus pocus. We can do, oh. Is it tied at everything? <gasps> That's actually quite good. That's really good. Hang on. So it doesn't pick up the things off the floor. Right, hang on. Let's have a test of this. So, which is broom? We'll just sort of put you over there for now. We'll throw you over there. That's fine. Um, okay, we're going to get a little bit kind of uh, rebellious here. Uh, Joe, what egg? Away with you. Splat. Right, there we go. Broken egg on the floor. If we just then go hocus pocus, it just cleans up. Oh, that's very exciting. I like that. That's quite good. Okay, let's prop our magic broom up over there. Apart from it's fallen. No, don't fall down. I want you to be propped up because you're quite good. Be, be over there, but be upright. There we go. Right. So we've completed all of the things around here, around the edge of the room, all the different posters. So we've got our broom. We know how to make the different things. So I think now let's, uh, yeah, let's shut this for now, actually. Let's shut that for now. It's very energy inefficient having that open. So there we go. Um, yeah, up to 3.9 degrees. I assume that's Celsius. So, um, okay. Yeah, that is a bit warm. We could do that coming down a tiny bit. So, uh, yeah, we've done that, though. So we've completed the things around the edge. So we know how to make the different ingredients. And we have our wonderful magic broom of cleaning, which is very good. So now I think we need to go and make some food because we do have some exciting options. So if we go to the order manager, you can go to all the different orders across the top here from all the different kind of DLCs and different kind of, you know, event packs and that kind of stuff. But Halloween over here, we've got what? Eight different options that we can make. So, I mean, some of them are a bit boring. Simple chicken pumpkin stew. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, you could make that in your actual house. Chicken pumpkin stew. Quite no, that's simple. That's just not simple. Then we've got chicken pumpkin stew with tomato. So we have an escalating scale of pumpkin stew difficulty there. So that's a simple one. That's just a regular one. That's a fancy one with extra bits. But they're kind of normal. They're sort of normal. I don't really want to go ahead and make those because these five down here are way more interesting. So we have our fresh meat, a little kind of basket of meat. Then we have head of the headless horseman. Then we have chum bucket. I don't even, I don't even know what that is. What is a chum bucket? It looks like a bucket full of eyes. Then we have witch's brew. And then we have a brain shake. So I think of those, let's make... I mean, let's go with that one, shall we? The chum bucket. I'm just trying to think of what looks quite Halloween-y. The pumpkin looks good. Head of the Headless Horseman does look good. But, I mean, that looks really Halloween-y. Lots of eyes floating around in a a very exciting bowl of whatever it is. So, um, yeah, so that's quite good. We'll do that. I like the way they're all served in slightly different things. I mean, fresh meat could be quite fun. 
because that's served in like a whatever that is. Like it looks like a deep fryer kind of sort of uh, pan dish, whatever it is, basket thing. Um, but yeah, okay. So let's do chum bucket. Let's order one of those, shall we? And because we're in sandbox mode, there's no time limit or anything. We can just have fun with this and see what we can do. So here we go. Chum bucket. Um, for this recipe, you need products to be created in the witch's cauldron. Okay, so we need eyes of newt, lizard tails and bat wings. But on the left, it looks like we don't actually need the bat wing. So we need eye of newt and we need lizard tail. Okay, well, it looks quite... It's, it's a slop. <laughs> a slop. Um blend transfer oh my goodness me there's so much stuff oh that's okay this is quite complicated this is quite complicated to make um okay transfer into a plastic bowl i have new to 105 grams oh, and you mix the lizard tail in okay serve warm of course so yeah we need to get all those ingredients there's quite a lot i thought it was just going to be some sort of slightly moldy water with some googly eyes floating around but no no it's like a proper meal Look at that, it's got soy sauce and lemon. Do you know what? It looks all right, actually. It looks okay, apart from the lizard tail and the eyes of Newt, of course. It actually looks okay. It's kind of a predominantly fish-based dish. Um, okay, right, so here we go. So we need uh, some eye of Newt and some lizard tail. 15 gram of lizard tail. I think that's one, isn't it? And then 105 grams of eye of Newt. I mean, how, how big are the eyes of Newt? They're 15 each. So hang on. So two is 30. So a uh, massive pen. So two is 30. So four would be 60. So six would be 90. So we need seven eyes of newt. Oh, crikey. And then we need another one to make the tail. To do the um, to do the thingy, the, the lizard tail. Because we have to combine that with an egg. Okay, right. So we need to get some more of these done. Okay, fine. Right, hang on a minute. Let's go and just get some more eyes of newt made let's throw some more potatoes around the place um okay right here we go cauldron let's just get a few of these churned out okay there we go eight eyes of newt that's not so bad and then we need to get one of the tail things so let's grab one of the eyes of newt let's open the fridge let's open the fridge properly there we go right grab an egg so this will make us a tail thingamajig so we need one of those so let's drop those in wonderful right okay so go back over here there should be a tail waiting for us there we go it's on the top of the thing right so grab the lizard tail okay right so we've got the basic things we need so plenty of eyes of newt to put in the top afterwards and then yeah we've got the lizard tail to mix everything together and now it's just kind of normal stuff so here we go this, this is where it gets fun because this is where everything generally kind of goes a little bit kind of one colored Right, so pop that there. Where is, by the way, the plastic bowl? Because I'm not entirely sure where that very colourful looking plastic bowl is. I mean, is it in here? Do we need to buy a plastic bowl? Can we serve it in a bucket? Um, uh, would it be a utensil? Um, yeah, I don't know where the plastic... Oh, there it is. We have to buy a plastic bowl, do we? Oh, okay. Right, that's fine. It's massive. <laughs> Good grief, it's huge. Oh yeah, that that's that's vast. Okay, right, so what do we need? We need to take a trout and we need to season it with some stuff. And then we need to get a cod and season it with the same stuff. Right, so get trout, get cod. They're going to be in here. So hang on a minute. That's a piece of cod. So pop that onto there. And then can we get a bit of trout? Um, well, I'm not entirely sure what trout. Oh, there we go. There's a trout. Right, okay. So get a trout. Put the trout also on there. Okay. <laughs> Can we buy another cutting board? Can, oh, we got another cutting board. Um, I don't know if we have another cutting board. I'd like another cutting board because that one's got all the eyes on it. Um, hang on. We must have to buy one. Go to here and cutting board. Yay, there we go. We'll have one of those. Thank you. Right, so put that down there. Grab the trout okay so the two fish uh black pepper and oregano or oregano however you want to say it it's all fine we know what we mean right so shut that up again there we go right so black pepper there so what is it 10 10 g 10 grams okay so that's about right and then come out of that and then onto that one Hang on a second. Let's just keep seasoning that. There we go. Wonderful. Right. So pop that onto the side. Then we need the oregano or oregano, wherever that might be. Um, what does it look like exactly? I don't really know what it looks like in order to try and identify it as a thing. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Oh, there it is. It's right at the front. Okay. So in 10 
grams of this. Yes, okay. Right, so just keep sprinkling that on. So that's fine. And then on to the trout. Okay, so do that. That's got some on it. Right, okay. That's fine. So the trout's now got 14 grams of that on it. Um, cut into halves. Okay, right. This is where things go a little bit one because, you know what, let's use our new knife that got made earlier. So, right, we've got to cut that into, oh, no, hang on a minute, into halves. <laughs> so, right, choppity chop. Okay, that, that's pretty good. That's okay. And does it mean, like, which, which half, which way, which half way does it mean? I would imagine it would mean kind of like that look. So, choppity chop. Okay, right. That was quite a clean cut there. Right, pop the knife. I should really wash the knife up, shouldn't we? Let's put it over there. Um, okay, so then our inhales. Add to a pot. Okay, so water, lemon juice, or shrimp, or all the stuff, all the things need to go into our pot. I assume we're talking about a great big kind of cooking pot type thing. We might need a big pot. Can we go and get one? So, um, yeah, big pot is even called a big pot. Right, okay, so pop that on the side. Let's move away with you, book. Away with you, free book that came out of a cauldron. Right, so take that. Put that into there. <laughs> nice. Put that into there. Right, then chuck the cod in, because this is what we're doing. So it's all piling into here. A lovely kind of fish, sort of soupy type thing. Um, water, well, hang on, right. Water, 500 mil. Let's go and work out how we can use the thing. Can we use the tap? Um, okay, so put that into there. Um, hang on, right handle is cold. Okay, so we want 500 mil. How do we turn it off? Oh, no, 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 oh. Okay, there's a bit more water in there than, than we possibly need. Um, uh, hang on, what did I, what did I do? Oh, I turned, oh, I turned the left handle. Okay, hang on a minute. Yeah, okay, I turned the wrong handle. Hang on, hang on. Can we, can I have that a second? Because that's got too much water. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's an okay amount of water. It's not too bad at all. It's just, yeah, it's going to be a, a runny dish than we were expecting it to be. Um, okay. So then we want to get asparagus. 32 grams of asparagus. Okay. So that's going to be in here somewhere. I imagine it's going to be down at the bottom then, is it? Uh, no, that's a lime. Uh, there it is. Right. So that's 16. So just chuck that in. And then we want another one. So that's one lot. And then grab another bit. Right, so that's two lots. So that's 32 gur of asparagus. Working our way up. Right, the lizard tail. Wonderful. We can do that nice and easily. There it is. Let's chuck in some magic into this dish. There we go. Right, so lizard tail goes in. Right, shrimp is 80 grams. That's going to be in here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. There, there, there. Right, so... Um, we need to you know what? Can we take the pot to the shrimp? That might be a bit more sensible. So 80 grams of that. So let's just go one, two, three, four, because they're 20 grams each. You see, mouth with pinch. Right, and then we've got that, that, that. So star anise, 10 g. Um, what does star anise look like exactly. I'm not entirely sure what it might look like. Hang on a minute. Hang on. It's, it's going to be around here somewhere. Um, possibly have looked at the other ones as well. Where is Star Anise? Where are you, Star It's been the last one, isn't it? Um, oh, okay. Hang on. Is it one of these? Ah, there it is. Right. Okay. So we want 10. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Open bottle. Um, how do we, do we just click? Oh, we just go like that, do we? Oh, no. Tilt the bottle. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Stop. Stop pouring. Stop. Desist. Pouring. Okay, right. There we go. <laughs> I think some went in. It's fine. Um, shrimp we've got. So, soy sauce and lemon juice. Okay, so the lemon juice should be fairly obvious, you would have thought. Yeah, there you go. And there's got a lemon on it. Right, how much of that? So, lemon juice, uh, 10 mil. Soy sauce, 15 mil. Okay, so 10 mil of this. So that's about right, and that's pretty much spot on. Okay, and then we go and get the soy sauce. Not quite sure what that's going to look like in this game. Hang on a second. Honey vinegar. Uh, that's just, that's water in the but There's a tap. There's a tap over there. Um, white wine, like soy sauce. There we go. Right. So that was 15 mil. Okay. So let's put 15 mil of that in. 
Uh, okay, that's a, a tiny bit too much, but that's fine. It's nice. Soy sauce is lovely. Right, so it's all in. So we've got water in, but plenty of that. Lots of water. Just really, really hammering the point home because hydration is important. Lemon juice, soy sauce, shrimp, star anise, lizard tail, asparagus, trout and cod. Boil for 50 seconds. Okay, so pop that onto the thingamajig here. And I mean, the clock doesn't work because it's Halloween and it's always the witching hour. So hang on a minute. Let's just shut these. We'll shut those. So close it to close. Right, get that on. And then, I mean, yeah, we've got a timer. But by the time I've worked out how to use the thing, <laughs> a lot of time will have passed. So I'm going to set up timer. So, um, no, not, oh, uh, okay, right, hang on. We'll just have to count when that gets to about 30, because it probably took me 20, 20 seconds-ish to sort that out. Um, then, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we're going to yeah, start on a minute. So already we're at 15 seconds. I think we have at least another 15 on, say. So I think when it gets to, yeah, counting down to, what, 30, no, 25 seconds left, because we started it 15 seconds late anyway, that should be the 50 seconds it needs. I'm not entirely convinced by that, but I think about that, possibly. Yeah, because the shrimp is going to get completely annihilated. So I think let's wait until the shrimp is cooked. So the shrimp is now lovely and cooked. It's flashing on and off in an angry sort of way. Right, take that off, put it onto there. Timer... Thank you, but can we turn you off? Set up timer. Um, uh, hang on a minute. A is down. Yeah. So turn the timer. Turn the timer off. Away with you, timer. Right now, what do we do? Do we blend it? Did it say um, blend? Okay. Uh, with a hand blender like that one. I imagine it must mean with a hand blender. Right. So put that down. Get this. Oh my goodness me! Right. Hang on a minute. Advanced controls. Ahoy. <laughs> Just kind of. Oh, no. Okay. Right. Hang on. Okay. Right. I don't know if that... Have we got any left in the thing at all? <laughs> have we got any left? There is a mixture. There's some... There's 39 milliliters of mixture left. <laughs> let's let's pour it out into the bowl, everybody. Let's enjoy this delicious thing. Right. Hang on a minute. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Um. Okay. So that's kind of over the edge of the thing. So rotate it. Right. Look, there's a bit left. There's a, that will do. We're pouring it. And some of it, I suspect, might have gone into the bowl. Although I'm not entirely convinced all of it has. Oh, I've thrown that as well. Um, okay, we have 11 mil of mixture in the bowl. <laughs> this is like a drizzle. A drizzle of it at the bottom. Oh, that, that mixer thing wasn't good. That wasn't good. It's here, look. It just Can somebody come in? You can just have it off the surface there. It's fine. You pesky blender. Um... Okay, right, that didn't work entirely according to plan. Um, I mean, hang on a second, hang on. How long did it take to get that sorted? Not that long at all. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to give that another go, because that is a bit rubbish, isn't it? So let's just, um, we'll get rid of the that that's there, because that is a bit of a failed effort. So hang on a second. We'll just sort of, we'll tip that away. Um, we'll put that over there. Do you know what we could do? We could use the magic broom to tidy up and hocus pocus. There we go. Everything's all clean. Right. So go and stand back up, broom. Um, okay. So now I think we need to do that again, possibly, <laughs> because that didn't work. Hang on. How many eyes of newt do we need? It was seven, wasn't it? How many have we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, ah, seven. Bother. So we need another eye of newt to then combine it with an egg to turn it into a tail. Um, okay, right, that's fine. Right, I'm going to give it another go because I'm determined to actually get that sorted. So hang on a minute. Let's get all the stuff back out and we'll just go and redo what we did. But this time, um, I won't sort of break everything with the blender. I'll certainly try not to anyway. The only good thing is really that everything's kind of already here, look. Everything is sort of already nearby. I don't have to go and find it all again because, um, yeah, it's all right here because we didn't put it all away because we're untidy in the kitchen. So uh, it should be... Fairly straightforward to get this all sorted now. So hang on, let's just go and get all that stuff back into the pan. Okay, there we go. Everything is back in the big pot. So it's all there. It's all correct. It's been seasoned and everything else. It's got all the soy sauce and the lemon juice and everything like that. So it's all ready to go. So I think we can do some blending now. But let's be a little bit more careful. Hang on, it's not ready at all. It's got no water in it, Penj. <laughs> There's no water. It's got soy sauce and lemon juice, but it's got no water. Hang on a second. What did we need for water? That would have been somewhat rubbish, wouldn't it? Uh, 500 mil. Hang on a second. <laughs> this is fine. I'm a professional chef. Okay. 
So now I know, hang on. So right handle. Okay, so right handle on, 500 mil, then right handle can go off. There we go, right, that is much better. That is much better, okay, right. So now, now we can go over to here and we can, hang on, yeah, we boil it first, don't we? I was gonna blend it there, <laughs> that would've been bad. Okay, boil for 50 seconds. Okay, right, get boiling. There we go, so we can boil that for 50 seconds and we'll just boil it until the shrimp are done because I think that's what we have to do. So we can keep an eye on it, we can boil it until the shrimp are nice and cooked. I mean, okay, we'll just sort of you know, wait for a bit. We'll just be patient, I suppose. Okay, so the shrimp are nearly done. When they get to the top, that'll start flashing on and off. Okay, so take that off, put that onto here. Now let's try and blend this, but let's do it properly this time, shall we? So hang on, oh, it's still on. Oh, we never turned it off. Oh, that's nice and dangerous of us. Hooray for us, professional chef. Right, okay, so do that and then move it vertically downwards. Okay, so that's blending. That's blending the stuff. And then we want to move it back upwards. I think there is still a little bit of something in there that does need blending. So I think, hang on, hang on. Can we put that, oh, hang on, like that, look. Yeah, there we go, I think it's, right, okay. Bring that up. Okay, then turn it off because you know, safety first and everything. Then just put that down anywhere. Put that down over there, that'll do. Is it all blended? Yes, it's blended. Okay. Now we have the terribly delicate procedure of putting it into here. So hang on a minute, we want to interact. So I think now we can tip that, can't we? So hang on, rotate, oh hang on, it's gotta be that way. So rotate it round, pour it into the bowl. Yes, okay, right, hang on. Now be really careful, what do we do now? So it's there, so mixture, eye of newt. Okay, so now we need to get the eyes of newt from over here. I think what we do is, I think we be incredibly careful and we put that on there and then we grab the eyes of Newt and we put them in one by one. I don't think we should tip them because that is going to be bad. So let's just put them in like that, look. So we've got a few eyes of Newt going in. So yeah, we need the three more. They're not bobbing around as much as I thought they would be. I thought they might be floating a bit more, but um, there we go. I think we've done it on, yeah, our second attempt, let's be honest, because the first one went a little bit one colloids. Um, serve warm. Okay, I mean, I hope it's still warm. It still looks okay. So here we go. Let's put it onto here. So there we go. And yes, can we please serve the chum bucket? And we shall see what people think of it. So, okay. Oh, it's it's brilliant. The taste is almost that. I wonder what what was the final problem with that. Look, guest complaints. Um, oh, what was that? Too much soy sauce, not enough lemon juice, too much black pepper. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a surprise. Okay, so that's what let us down on the taste ever so slow, but you know what, I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, there was a little bit too much soy sauce, possibly. Lemon juice I thought was pretty bang on, and black pepper I thought was okay, but there we go. Technique perfect, temperature perfect, that is wonderful. Okay, there we go. We've made a chum bucket, everybody. Somebody can go and enjoy that now. Just taking a quick look at the ingredients of the other Halloween-based thing. So fresh meat is onion and potato, and then just a load of meat. So steak, bacon, pork chop, sausage, eye of newt and bat wing. So that is, as it says on the tin, just a load of meat that I think is then just fried. It's just added to a frying basket and then you serve it cool. Uh, and then we've got the head of the headless horseman is apple, pumpkin, parsley leaves and an eye of newt, and then just some kind of drizzle and some seasoning. So that's actually not too bad. That's probably the easiest one you could maybe do. And um, we've done the chum bucket, which is brew. This could be quite grim looking. Look at that. It's a little bit similar to what we did, but onion and garlic, and then it's got lizard tail and bat wing in it, and then the chicken broth and butter and oil. And then this one down here, the brains shake, is burger meat, broccoli, trout, and egg, eye of newt and lizard tail mixed with milk. I don't know if I would try that. I mean, the other things, I kind of, yeah, obviously you can't say lizard tail and bat wing because I've never eaten those, but you know, I, I try most of these. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that. Burger meat with broccoli, trout, egg, and milk. And then of course, I have newt and lizard tail thrown in as well. I'm not sure I'd give that a go. I mean, maybe I'd try a little bit and I, I don't think I'd like it, however. I think that does sound a little bit, it's a little bit too extreme. Burger meat with milk, trout with milk. I'm not entirely sure that's gonna go well. So there we go. So there are some very interesting things that you can make on the kind of Halloween menu. There are some very interesting things indeed. But uh, yeah, I think the one we went for there is possibly the most kind of Halloween-y one. That's got a great big pumpkin on it, of course, but yeah, you can have pumpkin at any time of the year, really. But yeah, that kind of thing is the most Halloween-y looking one. Either that one 
or that one there. But yeah, I think we did a pretty good job with the chum bucket. So I think with our chum bucket a resounding success, we will finish things up for now with our little look at the Monster Menu DLC for Cooking Simulator. And I do like this. I like the fact that it isn't just a cosmetic overhaul. I mean, okay, yeah, we've got a few cosmetic changes. There are magic floaty candles, there are bats everywhere and posters on the wall, and outside we've got pumpkins and witches and all that kind of stuff. So there is a bit of a cosmetic change, but really the big thing is the cauldron. I like the witch's cauldron because as well as it being required to make things that you need to make the Halloween food, it's also quite fun and unpredictable. You can put anything into that and then you can just get a little surprise out of it. Let's put something in now, shall we? I don't know. What about some allspice? Let's put some allspice into there and see what fun thing we get out. There you go, witch's cauldron. Have some allspice. And we got given, what is that, a ladle? A 50 milliliter ladle. Very nice indeed. Do you know what? We've got a place to hang things like that, haven't we? There we go. So we got a free ladle out of that. And I like that. I think that's quite a lot of fun. One more thing. Come on, let's put in... I don't know. Let's put in, um, I don't know, what's that there? An eggplant. Let's put an eggplant into there. Why not? Into the witch's cauldron with you, eggplant. And we're going to get... Wow, that came out at some speed. Another knife. Okay, thank you very much. We shall pop that into the knife block because, you know, safety first and everything. So there we go. I like the fact that there is something a little bit different. It's not just, you know, hey, it's Halloween. We've changed what it looks like. You've got different meals to make that are Halloween -y themed and you need to use the cauldron to make those meals. So yes, there we go. And this is free. I believe if you own the base game, this is free. You go to your laptop and you go to the decorations and yeah, you pick Halloween, you press install or whatever the button says down there and then the theme appears and you get this. So yeah, we go. It's quite fun. I like the fact that it is a little bit different other than just it, you know, looking different. You do have a different way to play the game with the cauldron. But there we go. We'll finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. <laughs> These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were well, you sat in the car park? <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stan in brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this.